I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you three practice questions to find equation of tangent line for trigonometric and exponential functions. You can pause the video, copy these questions, solve, and then look into my suggestions. Question number one. Determine the equation of tangent line to y equals to 2 tan x at x equals to pi by 4. Question number two. Determine the equation of tangent of the tangent to the curve defined by y equals to x minus e to the power of minus x that is parallel to the line represented by 3x minus y minus 9 equals to 0 and question number 3 is determine the equation of the line tangent to y equals to e to the power of x plus sine x at 0 1 so let's solve them one by one so the very first question here is to determine the equation of the line tangent to y equals to 2 tan x at x equals to pi by 4. So we are given the function as y equals to 2 tan x. So let's find the derivative that is dy dx will be 2 derivative of tan is secant square x secant square x. Since we are interested in at x equals to pi by 4 so at x equals to pi by 4 what is this derivative so we'll find the derivative dy dx at x equals to pi by 4 substituting pi by 4 I mean sine square pi by 4 sine pi by 4 is 1 so we get this as equals to 2 correct let us find the value of the function at pi by 4 also. So y is equals to 2 tan pi by 4, which is 2, right? Tan pi by 4 is 1. So we know that slope m is equal to 2. Uh, sorry, slope m is we, we have to still find I'm sorry uh, secant square I wrote sign here uh, I'm sorry this is 2 secant square pi by 4 right which is equal to 2 right fine so slope is 2 uh, and the point is pi by 4 2 so we could use the equation y equals to mx plus b. So in this equation, slope is 2, so we could write this as 2x plus b. To find the value of b, we'll use this point, which is 2 equals to 2 times pi by 4 plus b. So that gives you 2 minus, that is pi by 2, is equal to b, right? So that is the b value. So now we can write down our answer, which is y equals to 2x and this is plus 2 minus pi by 2. Right? So that is how we can get this equation. Now let's look into the second question which is determine the equation of tangent to the curve y equals to x minus e to the power of minus x. That the part that 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 is parallel to the line represented by this. So we are given the line 3x minus y minus 9 equals to 0, which we can rearrange and write y equals to 3x minus 9. So that means slope should be 3, right? Parallel means slope is 3. So basically, we need to find the point where the slope is 3 for the given curve, right? So the derivative of this function is 1 minus e to the power of minus x times derivative of this function which is minus 1. So that is 1 plus e to the power of minus x. Now when is this derivative equals to 3? So we'll equate this to 3 and we can write 1 plus e to the power of minus x. Now that means Taking 1 to this side, 3 minus 1 is, um, <coughs> we can write e to the power of minus x or we can write 1 over e to the power of x, right? 
So this is 2, which is equals to 2. So basically, we are saying that, let me go to the right side now, and uh, we can now say that e to the power of x is equals to 1 over 2. Perfect. So what is x equals to? So if e to the power of x is equals to half, we can take ln both sides. So ln e to the power of x equals to ln half. That means x is equals to ln half, right? So at the point x equals to ln half, we have slope of 3, right? We have slope of 3. So x value is this. So let me substitute this value x and find the y value. So y will be equals to the x value minus e to the power of minus x. So which is y equals to ln half minus e to the power of minus x is 2, right? So which is, which is 2. So this is the y value. Is it okay? Now we can find the equation of the line. We know slope is 3, so equation of the line is y equals to 3x plus b. To find b, we'll replace x with ln half and y with ln half minus 2. So we have y as ln half minus 2 equals to 3 times ln half plus b. Right? So, so b is equals to uh, ln half minus 2 minus 3 times ln half and that gives you uh, uh, minus 2 ln half minus 2. Right? So that is the b value and therefore the equation of the line will be y equals to 3x minus, I can take minus common and write this as, uh, we can take 2 also common, right? We can take 2 also common ln half plus 1. So that becomes the equation of the line. So I hope that's absolutely clear. Let's move on and do question number three. Determine the equation of the line tangent to y equals to e to the power of x plus sine x at 0, 1. So let's find the derivative of this function, which is e to the power of x plus cos x. At x equals to 0, the derivative is e to the power of 0 plus cos 0. e to the power of 0 is 1, cos 0 is also 1, so we get 2. So the slope is 2, right? So we get slope m equals to 2, and the point given to us is 0, 1. So the equation of line is going to be y equals to mx plus b. So y equals to slope of 2, so it is 2x plus b. To find the value of b, we'll use this point, 1 equals to 2 times 0 plus b. So the y-intercept is given to us as 1. There was no need to figure this out. It is clear, right? Anyway, so we get the equation as y equals to 2x plus 1 as our answer, correct? So the equation of the line is y equals to 2x plus 1 which is tangent to the given function at 0, 1. So I hope with this, you had good practice on finding equation of tangent line to trigonometric and exponential functions. So I'd like you to take some examples on rate of change and optimization of these functions and prepare for your test, final test on calculus. All the best. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Feel free to share your views and comments.